everybody, it's Crazy Island Studios. Welcome to another episode of Freedom Journal Friday. This week's video is going to be a speed through, sorry for that, but it was just a busy, busy week and I spent yesterday with the grandson, so super busy. Anyways, here I am just collaging a bunch of random stuff down. I reached into my stash and just grabbed a bunch of stuff. There's uh, some jelly print paper in the green. There's some Happy Mail you've seen me put down right now. There's a um, couple different kinds of book text. I have a book page that was sent to me in Happy Mail. I have dictionary paper. I have printed tissue paper. Um, just all kinds of everything. I just stuck it down. Um, that one you just saw me pull off is because I wanted to add that piece of green paper behind it. And pretty quick you're going to see me add a little bird. And it's actually a piece of fabric. It's really cool. A little bit of Happy Mail that Gina sent me that is... Um, from old cigarette packs way back, like her grandpa, I think. Um, they used to put out these little, these little fabric things that came in the cigarette packs. I can't remember what they're called, but they're super cool. That was my coffee you just saw in the corner there. So I'm just adding some color with a, a little bit of Quinn Magenta in Golden Fluid Acrylics and some Teal in Golden Fluid Acrylics. This page is super simple, mostly collage not very much in the way of paint. I really wanted to use some collage and some happy mail and keep this page kind of simple and quick since I was a little bit short on time, but I really wanted to still make something for you guys today and for me too. Um, again, there was my coffee. I'm enjoying my, my blended coffees now that it's you know, warming up. So this is a cute little tag. Oh, that's gesso right there that I was applying. And I was just using the tag to see where it was going to go so that I would apply the gesso around the back of the tag. Here I'm just cleaning off my excess paint into an extra journal. And that tag right there is a wonderful tag that was given to me in Happy Mail by Rita Marie. She made that for me and I love it. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, you should. She does some really awesome stuff. Uh, this is molding paste. You could use modeling paste or ceramic stucco or any other kind of texture paste. And a little bit of golden, um, I used high flows because that's all I have because I wanted to use their fluorescent pink. Because who doesn't like a little fluorescent pink? This is just my stays on. I like to go around the edge of most of my pages and give them a little bit of a border. So a lot of the times it's just my stays on stamp pad rubbed onto the edge just like that. I don't use a blender tool or anything. Although I do have some on order because I, <sighs> I packed them all. Um, yeah, so getting ready to do some little doodles and just a little, just I want to add a word. What I'm using here is the Dina Wakely um, Mixed Media Paints. I just ordered the black and the Precision Tip uh, little needle type applicator. I'm going to give you a closer view right now where you can see it. Um, that's not what it's supposed to look like. I accidentally took off an extra piece of the cap. I slowed this down to true time just so you could see how smoothly you could write a word with this. So that is how fast it came out. There was no having to go back. There was no trouble on it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It works really nicely. I love that it's a little three-dimensional. I am just now figuring out that, hey, I opened that wrong. So I'm going to give you a good view of what it actually looks like with the proper tip all screwed on in place so yeah that's what they look like it's got the little bit of a needle in the cap that goes in just like the needle tip applicators so that it will not um, clog and everything you just leave it on there unscrew the whole thing to use it like regular paint and I'm pretty excited and definitely feeling the need to get some more of those here I'm just warming up my tape before I peel it off because my page is done it was a quick page Yes, it was. So yeah, I like to warm up my tape a little bit before I peel it off to help um, not pull anything off the previous page. But this is my page. I hope you guys liked it. I got to use some Happy Mail. Um, sorry to all of you who didn't, or uh, who do like the chatty chatty and didn't get the chatty chatty this time. I promise I will bring that back next week. Should not be quite so busy. So okay, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye for now.